Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project, Car Rental System. And I have developed this project in Python, Django, and the uh, database I am using is the MySQL. The Python version I am using Python 2.7 and Django version is 1.1 and the MySQL version is 5.6. And for connecting the database of the MySQL with the Python and Django, I am using the Django connector, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. <clears throat> also, uh, for front-end designing, I am using the normal HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This is a web-based project and uh, it's a mini project. Also, I am using some of the jQuery library for date plugins and the uh, form validations. I am using the jQuery plugins. So let's start with the functionality go through. So this is a mini project that uh, title is the car rental system. And uh, it uh, it has only and only single model that is the car rental, right? So let's uh, start. So this is the home page of the project. So you can see the home page. And uh, if you want to change uh, the content and the image then you can do it directly from the code there is no uh, add-in panel uh, available for that <coughs> okay this is the about project so this is the about section means what uh, is about the uh, current uh, system this is the contact page also contact page is a static page i am not saving the data or i am not sending any uh, type of email from the application so this is totally a static page it's only a form <coughs> this is the admin login so this is a dynamic page and if you enter wrong user id and password then you will not be able to log in inside the system so all the details what the details you will enter here will be verified from the database right so you must have the login correct user id and password for login inside the system so if you enter the wrong id and password then you will not be able to log in inside the system okay so i am entering the correct user id and credential and that is the admin and the password is test so this is the car rental dashboard so what you can do here you can add the booking and you can see the booking report you can change the password and the logout so you one more thing i want to show you so the above menu has been changed after the login so if i log out then above menu is different and so the menu is totally session driven right so if you log in then the above menu will be different and it's a session driven menu. means the code is checking that at means the user is logging inside the system is or not if user is logging then it will uh, render a different menu if not then it will render a different menu right the above menu will contain the same thing which is available here except the change password now come on the tab booking <coughs> Then this is the ad booking form where you can take the information of the customer and assign a car to that customer. Then what are the fields are there? So if you, uh, sorry. So if you uh, uh, enter the details here, right? So car name, suppose car one and charge per day is a hundred and car number is anything like that. And company is Maruti. <coughs> and description car for rental right and booking email means it contains the customer information so i am entering social at email.com and the booking name is a option issue and from date this one this is a date plugin and to date this is also a date plugin pick up at this add one and add two booking contact number you will enter the contact number and the photo of the car that what type of uh, so I am entering some normal photo, right? I don't have the photo of the car. So this one I am adding, right? So this is a screenshot and once you click on the submit, then you can see the sixth number uh, details has been entered. And if you want to edit it, then you can edit it also, right? Then it, that edit form is coming here, right? If you want to delete the record, just click on the delete and that record will be deleted from manually from the database side. <laughs> so this is the ad booking form. This is the booking report. So all the bookings, uh, which you have, uh, which the admin has entered will be displayed here. So this is the data table and you can search the record run on runtime. You can filter it you can set the number of page uh, records in a page so this is the pagination so how many records you want to display here because currently there are five records if it comes more than 10 records then you can set the pagination preferences also if you want to search suppose i want to search that zero is right 
then if you enter the Suresh, then it uh, it will search the record on runtime and you will be able to see the details at runtime right and also you can edit the record from here also <laughs> right so this is the dashboard again and this is the change password so change password means if admin want to change his password then he will be able to change his password from here so for that he needs to enter the old password and after that the new password and the confirm password right so this is the dashboard so this is all about the project means this is only a single module project means the car booking project and uh, uh, this that be, because this is a mini project that's why it's very small so if you want a major project also available on the website you can search on the website or on our, our youtube channel it's a very good project that the major project one it contains a lot of form uh, admin can see all of the booking report also customer can book the car so all of the functionalities are there in the major project it's a mini project that's why the functionalities are very less <laughs> okay so but if you need more functionality in this just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and uh, make this project according to your needs and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much